Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Vic with Culinary Crew. I think I said something stupid last time I did a video, like I was gonna have a bunch of time on my hands now that COVID's around. Um, that is so not the case. Um, unfortunately, we had to lay the staff off, so ends up me and my business partner work a little more. That being said, we're on my way up. Things are getting better. I had a few minutes today, so I finally wanted to get another video out. Um, and here we are. We're going to do olive oil and um, talk about different ones. So right off the bat, we'll go right into it. I'm nice to be back, and hopefully I can get some time and get these videos shot a little more frequently. Okay, so, you know, everybody, I have people that ask me, you know, what, what's the difference between like a cold press and a first press and a blend? Well, so basically, the, le the, the less amount of human activity, the better the olive oil. So, for instance, a first press, cold press, would be an unrefined, extra virgin olive oil. So... For instance, this one, this is, this is an extra virgin olive oil, and this is a high end. Um, this would be considered like a finish oil. These oils are great, they're full of flavor, they're usually pressed on the first press or cold press, and there's no other interaction. No heat, no chemical, nothing. Higher quality, higher money. Lower smoke point, and smoke point is what point does it burn? What point does it start to smoke? The unrefined oils and the extra virgins are not something you want to deep fry in. The smoke point is fairly low on those and um, it'll actually burn. So because of that, they make blends. And so for instance, this is a canola oil, but it has 10% extra virgin olive oil. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, this gives us the flavor or some flavor of olive. Um, but we're able to fry with it, so it has a higher smoke point. Um, obviously canola, vegetable oil, those all have a much higher uh, smoke point than olive oils, especially extra virgin, first press, cold press, our finish oil. This would be good for like salad dressings or dipping bread. Um, you wouldn't want to heat this, if at all, very little. So, um, so that next step is um, probably this one here. So this is also extra virgin olive oil. I know it's kind of a big container, we use a lot. Um, this is a high end. So this is uh, unrefined, meaning it doesn't have heat or chemicals added. So it's an extra virgin olive oil, um, unrefined, like this one. However, this one was probably not a first press, cold press, issue and you know first press just means that it went through the press first so it didn't the press heated up none it was the first one through it was a completely fresh press the cold press is obviously it was cold it was actually kept cold and pressed those olives out um, so these two are similar in that they're both extra virgin olive oil and they're both in the category of called like a finish oil we don't we don't heat this we use it in our uh, our vinaigrette and for dipping and then this is actually a personal bottle of olive oil but uh, that being said um, so this is kind of what we fry with um, this is also quarter olive oil it's local here in northern california um, we use a lot of local vendors um, this stuff is great this is a blend so this has canola oil extra virgin olive oil rice bran oil and grapeseed oil this product has a higher smoke point than some of the other olive oil blends. And the reason why is because they blended the grape seed and the rice uh, in with the canola. So we get great flavor out of this. And you know, I didn't talk about color, but typically the first press, cold press stuff are really dark. They have um, a, almost a, 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 a amber color to them. Um, and then the more, more you do to it, heat it and whatnot, the, the lighter it gets in color. That being said, something like this is great if you want the olive flavor, but you want to be able to fry with it and not hit that smoke point too early. Um, then you get, of course, into flavored olive oils. Uh, this one is elderberry with balsamic vinegar. Um, and this one is Meyer lemon, uh, extra virgin olive oil. 
Uh, these are great for, you could bake with them. They do have a kind of low uh, smoke point. That being said, you could still heat them slightly, but again, mostly for like dressings, dippings, and stuff like that, the extra virgin. And then of course you have your sprays. Um, this one is 100% olive oil imported from Italy. Um, we use this a lot, it's convenient. Uh, we use this just to brown stuff like our chicken parms and whatnot, but um, some of these are really good and some of these are crap. So, you know, you just want to look at the ingredients and the first ingredient is the one that has the most. So this one, extra virgin olive oil. Um, okay, so, you know, there's a lot of different brands out there. Um, there's a lot of different words and verbiage used on these to confuse you. Just remember that the less human interaction, the higher the quality and probably less cooking ability, um, but more flavor. So um, that's it, you guys. I wanted to do a quick one. And uh, please subscribe and like and share the video. And um, hopefully I'll get on some kind of regular interval again and we'll start shooting these videos out again. All right, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Bye.